Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday, so it's weigh in day. We're gonna chat about my week and we're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers Workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a Friday weigh in or any of the five videos I upload every single week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend, this is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free and we would love to have you. So let's chat about my week, my interesting weigh in and this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I had a really good week. I had a very interesting weigh in unexpected, interesting way in, but I also had some really great things happen this week. But before I jump in to my week and my way in, I want to share with you an amazing, amazing deal on Stelay. So you know that I have been taking Stelay sleep supplement every single night for well over a year. It has literally changed my sleep game even more so now that I'm in perimenopause. It was very effective prior to that, but as I've moved into perimenopause, I cannot get good quality sleep without my Stelays. I have gotten multiple questions this week on Stelay if I'm still taking it, what are my thoughts on it? So I wanted to give you an update that yes, 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 I take it every night. And they are actually having a huge promotion right now where you can get your first bottle of Stelace for only $15. Normally it's about $36 a bottle, which is still really affordable for such an effective natural sleep supplement. But right now your first bottle is only $15. So it's a great time to try out Stelace. And like I said, it has changed my sleep game. What I love about it is it helps me fall asleep and stay asleep. And even more importantly than that, I wake up fully refreshed when I take Stelays. I don't wake up groggy. So I used to take melatonin and magnesium and I would just wake up not feeling my best. I don't have that with Stelays at all. And one of my biggest issues is staying asleep at night. I'll wake up and have to use the restroom, especially in perimenopause, and then I can't go back to sleep. Not with Stelays. I immediately fall back to sleep and I get the best sleep of my life. It's vegan and it has the most amazing ingredients. I'll pop up here also on the screen a little bit more about each of the ingredients included in Stelays. Again, completely natural valerian root and hops, ashwagandha root, L-theanine, bacopa, passion flower, and then of course, melatonin. So you take two capsules 30 to 45 minutes before bed. Make sure that you do that. Make sure you're taking it about a half an hour to 45 minutes before you go to sleep. In the lights, turn your phone off and get the best sleep of your life. It did take about five days or so of me taking Solace to really notice the difference. And like I said, I've been taking it over a year and it still helps me sleep beautifully every single night. So I will link it down below with that special offer for $15 off of your first bottle. Check, definitely take advantage of that. It is a limited time offer. And if you fall in love with Slace just like I did, you can purchase it monthly or I am on auto ship. So mine is delivered to my doorstep every single month. And you actually get a little bit of a discount if you sign up for the auto ship. So I will link it down below for you. But yes, I still take it and I absolutely love it. And now let's chat a little bit about my week. So I had a really good week. I actually did a 5K on Saturday with my boot camp group. It was in my community. This area is known for pecan. So there's quite a few pecan fields. So the pecan fields are literally five minutes from my house and we did a 5k through the trees. It was so much fun. It was absolutely breath takingly beautiful. I got a lot of questions. Do I run? Do I walk? Do I do a little bit of both? I typically do a little bit of both. I do some walking and some running. I'm not a runner. Running is not something I enjoy. I prefer to walk. walk it, walking for me is better on my joints overall. And I'm a really fast walker. I have super long legs, so I'm a fast walker. And I can burn as many calories as someone running at a slower pace. But I do like to push myself and run a little bit during my 5Ks. It was really, really, like I said, it was really beautiful, really fun. Some of my girls from boot camp were there. And then after the 5K, we actually got fed a pancake breakfast, breakfast by the firefighters in our community. It was just a great way to support a local community event, move my body, and then 
another 5K I can check off my list. It's just a reminder truly of how far I've come and what my goals are moving forward and beating my best time at 5Ks, continuing to do 10Ks. I would eventually like to work myself up to a 15K. I may shift my focus to doing a little bit more running down the road. Who knows? But right now, that five but that 5K was another one to add to the list. I'm due to start my cycle any day now, according to my cycle tracking app in just a couple of days. So this week I was hungry. I was hungry all week, especially as I get closer to my cycle. I just can't get satisfied. I'm constantly hungry and I have to be really mindful of not always giving into that hunger and taking myself out of a deficit. And this is also the time where my weight is really weird. It goes up, it goes down, mostly up. And then once I start my cycle, it kind of levels out after a few days. Every body is different, but that's typically how my body reacts when it comes to the scale. I just was extra hungry this week. So I really focused on eating at maintenance this week rather than being in any type of deficit because I wanted to make sure that I listened to my body. And if I was hungry that I ate, but I tried to choose the right foods, if that makes sense. So I did suffer with a little bit more hunger this week. I got in all my workouts, boot camp, still absolutely loving co-pilot. My work Kayleen, my coach, just changed my workouts. You should be changing your strength training workouts every four to six weeks. So she asked me what I wanted to work on. Body part wise, I focus on upper body for those workouts. We changed it. I'm loving it. I truly love Copilot. Like I can't praise Copilot enough. I still have a link for 14 free days. Definitely check it out. There's no obligation. If you don't like it, cancel. But check it out. Get a workout. Talk to a coach. See if they can help you reach your goals. It's changed my life. I pay for it every month myself and I absolutely love it. Love Kayleen, my coach. Love, love, love my workout. So I'll link Copilot for you as well. So before we talk about this weird weigh-in, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to hack your points budget. And this can also, these tips and tricks can also work for those of us counting calories and macros. Picture this, it's Sunday night and you're focused on setting your week up for success. You're thinking about what meals you're going to have, how you're gonna track your food, how you're going to stay on track, only to realize that you have happy hour with your best friend, pizza night with your family, and a birthday party. There's no way you can do everything and stay on track, right? Wrong. Let me share some tips with you on how to navigate life, but also reach your weight loss goals. Think about which meals, foods, or events matter most to you this week. Do you live for Sunday brunch or got a birthday or night out planned. Then visualize your plate. What do you want on it and how much? Pre-track those food and drinks. How many points did you use? How many dailies or weeklies are left over? Or how many calories are left over? Sketch out the rest of your week. Where and how will you allot your remaining points? And if you want even more flexibility and points to play with, lean on zero point foods and low point recipes. Also lean on low calorie, high volume foods. Add points by moving more. You can log activity manually or sync your fitness tracker or do it automatically. If you're following macros and calories, do not add back in your exercise, but you can move your body a little bit more to compensate. Use your weeklies and rollovers. Up to four unused daily points are automatically deposited into your weekly bank. And again, if you follow calories and macros, make those days your high calorie days and make up for that the rest of the days of the week. There is a lot of ways that you can navigate social gatherings. And just because we're on a weight loss journey doesn't mean we shouldn't enjoy life. I traveled throughout my weight loss journey. I go out with my husband every weekend. I have girls nights with my boot camp, and I still was able to lose and maintain my weight loss. We want to live a balanced lifestyle because that's what's sustainable. And that includes birthdays, celebrations, pizza nights, and night outs with your girlfriends. You just want to learn how to navigate those a little bit more effectively. Maybe you eat a little bit lower point, lower calorie foods throughout the day so that you have calories or points left over for that meal out. Or maybe like like Weight Watcher says, you move your body a little bit more to compensate for the extra calories and points that you're eating. But there's no need to skip events and to skip out on life because we're trying to lose weight. Don't give up anything. Don't give up life or events to lose weight. Find a way to balance it all for sustainability. I promise you by doing this to lose weight and you'll be able to do this to maintain that weight loss long term. Speaking of weight, weight loss, maintenance, long term, let's talk about this week's weigh in. So like I mentioned, I've been extra, extra hungry this week. My weight has been very weird this week. I do weigh myself daily. So I see weight fluctuations. That's part of what healed my relationship with the scale. And boy, did I have some fluctuations this week. Post my 5k, my weight was up. And one of you commented actually on my video last week where I talked about my hike and how my weight went up. That's very common for me. My body is sore. My muscles are fatigued. They're retaining water. They're inflamed. So I typically see a spike on the scale and then it generally will level itself out 
not this week, not this week. I did see a big spike on the scale. It leveled out a little bit, but when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually up one full pound. Now, do I think I gained a pound of fat? No. Do I think it's a weight fluctuation? Yes. It's a weight fluctuation based on me eating more calories this week. I really said, like I said, I focused on maintenance. I definitely ate more carbs this week. I definitely ate more processed food this week because I was extra snacky. And number two, it has a lot to do with my cycle. It's a fluctuation based on life. And that's okay. Am I, do I anticipate that one pound going away? Possibly, if it doesn't, am I mad about it? No. I'm okay gaining a pound, that's what maintenance is. Maintenance is not a number, it's a range. I'm well within the range that I set for myself to stay in during maintenance, so I'm not upset about a pound gain. I know it's not a pound of fat, it's most likely a fluctuation. We'll see what happens over the next few weeks, but as of today, when I stepped on the scale, I am up one full pound, and I'm not letting it get to me at all. I'm still gonna enjoy my life. I'm actually going to a cookie decorating and painting class on Saturday. I'm picking up little nothing bunk cakes for me and the girls going. I've actually had never had nothing bunk cakes till a birthday party I went to this weekend. So I'm going to have a little cake this weekend. I'm just going to continue to live my life. I'm not restricting calories. I'm not going to exercise more. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to continue to live my life and we'll see what happens on the scale. So let me know down below, how was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? What do you think about weight fluctuations? Are you okay with them on the scale? And how do you navigate events and parties throughout the week and staying in on track and continuing on your health journey? Let us know everything down below. And don't forget, I will link to Lace with that special $15 deal, definitely pick it up, check out Copilot, take advantage of the two free weeks. Some really great resources for you down in that description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment, let me know how your week was. And don't forget to come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching friends. Happy Friday. And I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.